Hey, it's Steph. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm going to be updating you on my Pandas Eyeshadows Project Pan. I will leave the creator of this project down in the description box if you would like to check her out. My face definitely reflects my uses this month, but I did hit pan on an eyeshadow, so I'm really excited about that. We will be rolling in a new shade. So if you're interested in that, please keep on watching. I'm just gonna go alphabetically like it is on my spreadsheet. So the first shade I'm gonna talk about is from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. And I'm working on the shade Cyborg. This bottom taupey metallic color. I only used this shade three times this month um, compared to last month where I used it 13 times. So I have 16 total uses on this eyeshadow and no pan in sight. So it will be staying in this project. My next shade is from my Morphe 9T palette. I use this color 11 times this month with a total of 31 times in this project and I did hit pan, which makes me so happy. Um, before this project, this palette was almost untouched and now I have two pans in it. So that makes me so happy. You can see two pans, yeah. So we will be rolling in a new shade. The next two shadows are from my Tori Bell All That Shimmers. And the first one I wanna talk about is the shade Gold. And I rolled this in last month. And you can definitely see some, I don't know if that's hard pan or just from my, you know, my brush flattening it a little bit, but you can definitely see some disturbance, I would say. I only used this shade three times this month, but it was pretty beautiful. And I think it will be great for the holiday season coming up. So I definitely plan on using this more in November and December, unless I hit pan in November. And then the other shade in this palette I'm working on is this pewter shade down here. Um, again, no pan, but there is some disturbance. I use this four times this month, making a total of 10 uses since rolling it in. I'm halfway to my goal on this shade. I feel um, when I rolled it in, I set a usage goal of 20 uses. So maybe I can hit that next month if I really focus on this shade. And then my last shade uh, before we roll something new in is from my Tori Bell Stark Naked palette. I was working on the shade Rosy Glow. I use this eight times this month. I think you can definitely see how big this dip has gotten. I love this shade for all over my lid for every day, but again, I did not wear makeup that much this month. So the eight uses definitely reflects that. And that makes a total of 23 uses in this project. I have no idea how deep these pans are, so we'll see. Now is the fun part. We get to roll in a new shade. So I have one through 155 in a random number generator. And we got 13. Lucky number 13. So I can't see this, but maybe you guys can before me. Um, Number 13 is from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soul Tree palette. What are the chances? And it is the shade right next to Cyborg. Oh, interesting. It is this shade right here called Slate. And I have used this color a couple of times. Uh, not very many, as you can see, it looks basically untouched. Ooh. I have no idea how long it will take me to hit pan on this. I have used the color Fresh so many times and there's a quite a big dip in it, but no pan yet. So I think I'm going to set a 
goal for this color. I don't know. No, I'm not. I'm going to hit pan on this and we're going to do an experiment to see how many times it takes me to hit pan on a matte from this sultry palette. So that's really exciting. I didn't have to get up and get a new palette. And it's very interesting that we're working on two shades out of both of these. I don't know what the chances are of that, but it's very interesting. I hope you enjoyed watching my update for my Pan Those Eyeshadows panning project. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you enjoy panning and makeup videos, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an update. And I see you in the next one.